you ever decided to become Tracy Chambers again, you know where I'll be. Direct many major shows and all that. Um, you're a dad star. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you think about the recreation of the scene? Like, what was you, you know what was your angle and what inspired, motivated you? Well, my angle was I wanted to do something uh, that was a classic and put a little bit of, of an updated spin on it. There's a lot of reboots and remakes uh, being done, updates being done. And uh, when uh, when Trinetta and Ron came to me about doing this this clip and directing this, first of all, I felt honored to that they thought of me and chose me to do that. And secondly, I wanted to be able to add a little bit of a flavor to it and update it a little bit um, based upon how it was shot originally. Um, it was uh, you know once I sat with them with the rehearsal and we got down to the uh, to the brass tacks of, of how you know we we're going to work it out and how we we're going to. Uh, get to it. The rest was was just you know assembling a, a great small crew to come in and, and knock this puppy out and you know, I think everybody from the actors on down and up did a fantastic job to uh, to create a, a great visual piece that I'm sure when the people see this they'll be like okay I, I, I didn't even know it was, it was either this long or this short because you just get lost in the moment that's the goal. Awesome, awesome. You saw the original um scene. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do differently with this scene? More movement in this one. Uh, you know, visually when it comes to directing, more of a uh, a style, almost almost basically just making the audience feel as if they were in the room more uh, and, and gave them that essence and feel that they were a fly on the wall. And that's really what I want to capture on this one. And once we uh, uh, put this together and edit it together and, and put it all seamlessly together. I think that it, people will really get lost in the moment and feel as if they were in the room with them as, as, uh, as Mahogany was experiencing what she was experiencing with Brian. And you are? Siobhan Williams. All right, from a Gold Carpet Productions. And did you, what did you think about the whole scene and did you feel it? Um... It was very moving. Mm -hmm. I love the intimacy. Um, I love the fact that the struggles was being shown and it was captivated, it wasn't hidden. Uh, the struggles through the personality of each character. Um, it was it was powerful. Yalewa Quarles. Yalewa. Yes. So, and you're from? I am from Purple Willow Productions. And what did you uh, what did you think of the whole scene? And I thought it was awesome. The intensity and the ability for the characters to stay in the moment, no matter what the director was calling, and to pick right back up. That takes talent to not be thrown off when you're stopped in the middle of such an emotional scene. It was awesome. Terrence Carter. Terrence Carter, at Serenity Media. I was glad to do this project. First time been on set. You know, as far as working behind the scenes, I uh, loved it. Great director, great cast and crew. Um, to be blessed to be part of a uh, film that's doing a classic, something I grew up with. Uh, you're talking about Diana Ross, who's iconic. You know, she's legendary. Supreme songs, endless. Billy. Billy D. Williams, classic um, actor, you know, phenomenal. But to pick such a uh, poignant type film to duplicate and what happened here today is phenomenal. The public is gonna be very impressed. Uh, like my cast member said, they stayed in emotion. They did justice to this film and we hope that everybody gets to see this and realize that there is talent here in Atlanta and wish them much, much success to T-Stars Entertainment.